I enrolled in the university and I was so happy. For me, the most important thing is changing attitudes, especially among young people. Daniel Stolbunov is 19 years old. He speaks frankly about the fact that he is HIV positive. He works for a youth organization and talks to teenagers about why they should not fear HIV. He recently returned to the student medical center, where he has been told twice during his time in medical school that he should not become a doctor. Together with Daniel, we decided to find out whether these guidelines could be considered discrimination. I'm going to write a complaint. The complaint is made up of several parts. The most important part is writing down what caused the discrimination. Daniel makes two copies, one for the hospital and one for himself. It's no secret that HIV is a very stigmatized and closed community, and every blow to a person with HIV increases the level of discrimination and stigma in society. This is one of the main obstacles stopping us from overcoming the epidemic. That's my main principle as an activist. That's it, I'm pretty much ready. Stolbunov, is that right? Yes, Stolbunov. Leave the complaint. You should get an answer in 10 days. Good. Volodymyr Romanovich, could I please speak to you for 10 minutes? While registering the complaint, Daniel managed to talk to the chief doctor of the student medical center. Off camera, he says that he has not changed his mind. You come to me and you say, I want to be a surgeon. I'll say, Daniel, you don't have to be a surgeon. I'll repeat it 101 or 105 times. If you said you wanted to be a kindergarten teacher, I would say the same thing. I do not recommend it. But that's also wrong. Even if it's wrong a hundred times over, we have the right to our own opinion. Of course. Well, why don't I? The third step was to send a letter of complaint to the director of the Department of Health at the Kiev city administration. Daniel writes his situation down on paper, again, but this time there is one thing still missing. Tatiana is a lawyer who also works at Daniel's youth organization. He consults with her to check that he is doing everything properly and to find out whether the doctor's actions could be considered discrimination. The medical workers' actions are discriminatory, in my opinion although they are only recommendatory, but this is passive discrimination. So that's what this is? Of course. Any form of restrictions on employment are prohibited in our country. The only case in which you can demand an HIV or AIDS test is when someone wants to give blood. Moreover, you do not have to take an HIV test during hiring process. The director of the Department of Health agreed to meet with Romatska. Daniel came along with us. Issues like stigma, although they are relics of the past, still exist. You can be a doctor, a teacher, start a family if you want. This is about the ethics of the doctor's behavior. If as a person he is biased, then he must leave his biases at home. The Department of Health still hadn't received the letter. However, they promised to remind the doctors at the student clinic about the rights of people with HIV. I'm satisfied because the head of the department explained everything that needs to happen for everything in these cases to be formalized. The department is working on it. The main thing is that people need to know how to fight for their rights and to not be afraid of fighting for their rights and not under any circumstances give up until the very end. After a few phone calls to the Kiev city administration, the chief doctor from the clinic, Volodymyr Wojnarowski, agrees to meet. He waits for us at the end of the working day. He says that he's had time to consider the complaint. Maybe, Daniel. We have ended the topic. There aren't any. Counterindications for working and studying as well? I have no right to make the decision on whether or not you are fit to study medicine. If I did make such a decision, then I would be held liable. Discrimination is prohibited. 
After the conversation, Daniel asks the doctor to send a written response to his complaint. If I didn't treat my HIV the way I do now, if I were one of my close friends who find it difficult to even say the word HIV, then I would have probably burst into tears in his office. But he will remember a pain in the ass like me for a long time, and he will think twice before giving anyone unsolicited advice. 